A key witness in the state's case against Eric Boyd took the stand today. The way I was looking at it, I mean, the less that I say anything or put my two cents in, then in the better from, I mean, for myself. That's convicted killer George Thomas trying to explain why his testimony today was different from what he first told investigators. On the witness stand today, we got a very different picture of the crime from anything we've heard before. This is the latest trial in the kidnapping, torture, and murders of Shannon Christian and Chris Newsom. The pair were killed in January 2007. Now the state has brought charges against Eric Boyd, saying he was involved in the crime. And in court today, Thomas described how Boyd killed Chris Newsom, but there was a lot of inconsistency with previous testimony. Reporter Cole Sullivan joins us with some of the issues the defense attorney will likely point out tomorrow. Cole. It seems like every time we have one of these cases, the story changes, and that was the case with George Thomas's testimony as well. Lots of inconsistencies that we expect the defense to hammer in on. It's a long list of inconsistencies. Thomas says Eric Boyd shot Chris Newsom by himself, but forensics show two different guns were used. Thomas claims to not know anything about Newsom's rape, but forensics shows it happened. The house on Chipman Street isn't a big one. It doesn't have very many doors inside. Thomas was inside, feet from the room that Shannon was in for hours, but he says he didn't hear hear her being raped or killed. Crucially, he does say that Eric Boyd was involved in the entire thing and says that he was the one who killed Newsom. Just shaking my head at him like, like he like, what was going on? And like, and we just killed him. That could be enough for the jury to convict him of criminal responsibility. Now it's the defense attorney's turn. He will have had all night to prepare to poke holes in Thomas's testimony. George Thomas is testifying in order to receive a reduced sentence. He was sentenced to life with the possibility of parole for the murders of Christian and Newsom. He has already served 12 years, and with this deal, he could get out in his mid-60s. Uh, he was given, uh, frankly, a substantial time cut uh, from somewhere around 127 years to 50. Uh, with what he has served, he would be able to be released on parole in 31 more years from today. Legal expert Don Bosch says the state took a gamble with putting Thomas on the stand. The trial will continue tomorrow morning starting at 930.